Hello everyone and thank you for joining this video. In this video we will walk you through the installation of the Siemens license server which is essential for managing licensing for application like SolidEdge and Annex whether on the server machine or across a client machine in your network. To begin we need to download a couple of essential files from the Siemens support center and for this demonstration I have already downloaded the necessary component as you can see we have the Siemens license server installer and the appropriate license file. These are the core files required for the installation. So let's start by installing the Siemens license server version 4.2.0.2 in this case. Run the installer as administrator to ensure proper permissions. Once the setup begins, select your preferred language and I'll proceed with English. You will be prompted to define the license file location. You can store this file in any directory. For now, I'll browse to the folder where it is located and let me select it. Click next to proceed. Once the following screen, you will see a several configuration options and unless you have a specific customization requirements, it's best to leave everything as default. Pause it by clicking next and the installation will begin. Now as the installation process you may see status messages indicating the various component being set up. And once complete you should see two confirmation line. The license server installed successfully and services started successfully. This message is confirmed that the installation was successful and you can click done to exit the setup. Now that license server is installed, we need to ensure the proper environment variables are also configured. The first variable is se underscore license underscore server. Now this is specifically required for solid edge. On client machine, this needs to be point to the server hosting the licenses. The second variable is SPLM underscore license underscore server. So this is a general variable used by the Siemens application. Set its value as 29,000 at the red localhost or replace the localhost with the actual server host name or IP address. In our example, the default port is 29000, which is a standard for Siemens license server services. Make sure both variables are correctly added to the system environment variables. Now let's now open the Siemens licensing utility to verify everything is set up properly. Launch the utility, confirm that it's correctly editing the, the license server. If not, select I have a license server and enter the appropriate host name, example a local host or the name of your server. Now this utility helps ensure the licensing services is accessible and, the act and active. Now configuring, uh, you know, it's with the data management, it's the next step. So if you are using the team center, you can configure the integration during the setup. In our case, we'll, we will proceed with the inbuilt data management available in SolidEdge. Choose PDM when you know it's prompted and this enable a lightweight data management without the need of full PLM integration. Now let's open SolidEdge for the first time and the initial launch may take a little longer than usual. And once it is open, uh, accept the customer experience improvement program prompt. Then go ahead and create a new design, select any template such as a part, assembly and etc. To recap, in this video, we have covered how to download and install the Siemens license server, how to set up the required environment variables, how to verify your license setup, and finally, how to configure and launch the SolidEdge using inbuilt data management. If everything is done as shown, you should now be able to run SolidEdge seamlessly. So, thank you for watching, and we hope this tutorial was informative. Feel free to leave your questions and comments. And we will see you in the next video. Stay tuned and take care.